Love and Lust Deities A love deity is a deity in mythology associated with romance, sex, lust or sexuality. Love deities may be found in many polytheistic religions and are common in mythology. Female sex goddesses are often associated with beauty and other traditionally feminine attributes. Anansa The goddess of the sea allure and beauty. The most powerful Kalabar water goddess. She is a very fearful, but beautiful goddess of the sea. And it's believed that it's only fortified cameras that can capture her monuments. Where she's lay in the bayside of Kalabar South. She is considered the spouse of many, Anansa is by far the most popular of all the deities of the epic people. Situated at the Anwang spring head known as Idiman Wang, the Anansa deity is said to be the goddess of the sea and the goddess of beauty. She can be said to possess young girls and when she possesses a girl. She dreams a whole lot about the water and the famous Ekambi dance, which is a dance attributed to Anansa. The Ekambi dance movements are derived from the motions of the oceans. It's believed that by mere dancing of Ekambi, you are invoking the spirit of Anansa, dance of peace and happiness. The possessed girl will automatically know how to dance Ekambi ideally. Because of Anansa's beauty the possessed would be stunning and would attract men. Even when she is not dressed seductively. Anansa is a very fearful deity that when rejected. She can be dreadfully insane but very humble when she is accepted. Anansa is said to have possessed a stone, an egg stone to whom requests are made during Anansa rituals. Anansa procession birthed the famous carnival Kalabar. The procession began in the morning, heralded by the royal talking drum and the epic drum, called Ik Parat. Oshun Oshun is the Yoruba Orisha, deity, of the sweet or fresh waters. She is widely loved as she is known for healing the sick and bringing fertility and prosperity, and she especially watches over the poor and brings them what they need. As Orisha of love, Oshun is represented as a beautiful, charming and coquettish young woman. The Yoruba clans inhabit parts of Western Central Africa in present-day Nigeria. Oshun is the goddess of the river of the same name and she is especially worshipped in river towns. During her yearly festival, she is said to choose one or more women dancers to descend into. Much like participants in Vodou ceremonies may be mounted or possessed by a Lua. These women then take new names in honor of Oshun and are thereafter consulted as healers. Oshun was taught divination with cowrie shells by Obatala the first of the created Orichas, and then she brought the teaching to humans. Oshun is also said to be the mother of the birds or fishes. Astarte was a Phoenician and Canaanite goddess, associated with love, sex, and fertility, in the Mediterranean and Mesopotamian regions. By the 4th millennium BC, Astarte was worshipped widely usually in conjunction with her consort, the storm god Baal, though Astarte enjoyed wider popularity. Many believe Astarte evolved from the Sumerian goddess Inanna or Ishtar, who was known to embody many similar principles in the Babylonian world. Her name Astarte, sometimes Ashtar, takes its roots in the name Ishtar. Inanna, Ishtar, was also associated with war and hunting, and by connection, death and the underworld. As the figure of Astarte developed in Mesopotamia, and spread across the area surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, Astarte began to embody both creation and destruction in equal measure. Bastet As one of the main goddesses of the Egyptian pantheon, she was a goddess of cats, the sun, of the east, of fire, of love, intoxication, music and dancing, joy, celebration, fertility, secrets, magic and sex. However, she was also a goddess of war known for her wrathful vengeance. She protected households and individuals from disease and evil spirits, guarded pregnant women and protected cats. She served as the divine nurse and mother of the pharaoh. Due to Bastet meaning, she of the ointment jar. She also became known also as a goddess of perfume, and was called the perfumed protector. Bast Bastet was the protector and guardian of Lower Egypt. She was the patron goddess of firefighters because the Egyptians believe that a cat running through a building on fire would draw the flames out. She was also one of the goddesses who was known as the Eye of Ra or the Eye of Autumn the Sun. In this aspect she symbolized Ra's feminine counterpart and was sent out to take vengeance on his enemies. The Eye of Ra was both a part of Ra and a separate being from him and was considered his mother, sister, wife, and daughter simultaneously.
she had life-giving protective and also destructive capacities. Prande is the goddess of dawn, love, beauty, fertility, health and protector of women. In the Albanian pagan mythology, she is also called Afrodita in Albanian phrase meaning near day. The day is near or dawn. Prande was worshipped in northern Albania especially by the Albanian women until recent times. Prande's festival was celebrated on July 26th every year, and her devotees would do beautiful clothing, and would set out a mortar and pestle as a representation of sexual union. Rainbow is regarded in popular beliefs as Prande's belt. And oral legend has it that anyone who jumps over the rainbow changes his sex. The goddess Prende is associated in Albanian folk beliefs with the cult of the planet Venus. Aphrodite was the Olympian goddess of love, beauty, pleasure and procreation. She was depicted as a beautiful woman often accompanied by the winged godling Eros love. Her attributes included a dove, apple, scallop shell and mirror. In classical sculpture and fresco she was usually depicted nude. Aphrodite was a figure of immense influence and power in ancient mythology, revered for her unique ability to manipulate love and matchmaking. She forged connections between individuals, leading to harmonious unions or passionate and tumultuous affairs that could shape mortal lives. Aphrodite retained her eternal youthfulness and beauty, bestowing her with an endless charm that transcended the ages. These diverse and awe-inspiring abilities affirmed Aphrodite's status as a goddess of immense allure, power and influence, captivating the hearts of generations throughout history and cementing her as one of the most revered figures in the Divine Pantheon. Anya, also known as Anya, or Anu, is a prominent figure in Celtic mythology as the goddess of love, fertility and sovereignty. She is revered for her beauty power and grace. She is often associated with the sun and the moon. Anya is said to be the daughter of the god of the underworld, Don, and is considered one of the most important deities in Irish folklore and was often depicted as a beautiful and powerful goddess. She was associated with the summer solstice, and was believed to have the power to control the weather and the elements. Anya was also said to have the ability to shapeshift into different animals including a swan, a hare and a horse, and was believed to have the power to bring fertility to the land and to women. Anya was also seen as a protector of cattle and crops, and was often invoked by farmers and shepherds to ensure a bountiful harvest. In some depictions, Anya was shown with a wheel which represented the cycle of life, death and rebirth. The wheel was also a symbol of fortune and destiny, and was often associated with Anya's ability to grant kingship and prosperity.